This is the 3D Viewmaster Cartoon Popeye. Viewmaster Reel 1, Picture 1. Popeye and Brutus both wish to accompany or leave to the annual sailor's ball. The one who paints the biggest part of my house will be my escort, announces Olive. The contest begins. Picture 2. Popeye covers the wall with red paint and is really making progress. Brutus, who is too lazy, decides to use another strategy. With his pail of paint in hand, he climbs up the ladder end. Picture 3. Crash! Brutus accidentally spills the pail full of paint on Popeye's head. The unlucky fellow falls down the rungs, spitting paint. Picture 4. Quick, get the turpentine, screams Popeye. With the help of Sweepia, he scrubs himself with all his might. Meanwhile, Brutus is gaining ground. Picture 5. Seeing his rival make progress, Popeye empties a big can of spinach and takes off like a rocket. Picture 6. Beginning with the roof, the thin circles the house like a whirlwind, covering everything with paint. Even Brutus is covered with a genius layer of red paint. Picture 7. Of course, Popeye gains the victory. Oh, Popeye, it was marvelous, sighs Olive. Don't mention it, Popeye answers modestly. Sweepia laughs at the sight of Brutus, who is still trying to figure out why he was defeated. Viewmaster Reel 2, Picture 8. Attention, please, attention, please yells the radio announcer. An enormous atomic missile has been launched by mistake. Don't just stand there, do something. Olive leaps three feet in the air and screams, Oh dear! Then she rushes outside, crying, Popeye, Popeye! Picture 9. Help, Popeye, save us! When Popeye hears these cries and sees the missile zigzagging in the sky, he grabs his secret weapon, Spinach. Action is not long in coming. Ten, nine, eight. Picture ten. Zero! Blast off! The anti-missile Popeye is launched. His pipe spits flames. He shakes his fist at the powerful engine. Picture eleven. But the rocket refuses combat. It dodges, periods and breaks through the clouds. With skillful movements of his pipe, Popeye begins the pursuit. Picture 12. With a crucial maneuver of his pipe, Popeye rushes to meet the missile. The engine loaded with atomic power swoops down on the man loaded with spinach. Picture 13. And boom! A tremendous explosion shakes the sky and earth. Olive covers her ears. The enormous mushroom spits debris from the missile. Picture 14. Popeye lands hard at Olive's feet. She exclaims, Oh, Popeye, I don't even have a scratch. Good, sighs Popeye. How would you like to get me a can of spinach? to touch me up a little. Viewmaster Reel 3, Picture 15. Child Tormentor, Olive cries out to Popeye, who just simply wants Sweepia to attend school. But the school is two miles away and there's no bus. Olive finds Popeye cruel and inhuman. Sweepia agrees with her. Picture 16. Wimpy himself, between two mouthfuls, gives his opinion. The distance is too great for Sweepia. I used to go much farther than that to get to school, I did, Popeye replies. But they were all against him. What was he to do? 
picture 17. While Popeye broods over this, Sweepia opens her mouth that is as big as an oven and begins to bawl. He he he! If you loved me, you would find a solution. At these words, Popeye feels himself stung to the quick. Picture 18. Popeye takes a can of spinach out of his pocket and swallows the contents in one gulp. Sweepia is delighted because she knows that spinach leads to big happenings. Picture 19. Popeye rushes to the school. A second later he is standing in front of the teacher. Excuse me, ma'am, I'd like to borrow the school. Picture 20. And he picks up the school in his hands with the teacher and students inside. Then Popeye returns home. Picture 21. Popeye carefully puts down the school next to Olive's house. She cries out enthusiastically. You're so nice, Popeye. As for Sweepia, the solution to the problem found by Popeye strangely disappointed her.